person who seems to fit. I'm not. Now, Ben, I got this first time when I first played this. Oh, bollocks! It was like three or two and a half years ago, but even when it first, like, before the death, I was like, this one person is actually being quite suspicious. You gonna be up here? You really think it's him? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> is that Dow I sense? Oh. Wow. Oh shit! Why, why would you think it's Biafia then? Where was she? You've got a minute and a half to guess. Where was she? Where the is. Just think, think about the whole entire thing. How it unravels. Go back. Go back. Okay, wait. No. No. Who do you think it is, man? No. Who do you reckon it is? You press that button. Or who you really think it is? No. Oh my god, this is the hardest one, I'm sorry. I, I, oh. Come on, Ben, use all of your mental oh powers. Oh my god, it could have been! You press that button. Here's my answer. Oh! It was Celeste. What? <laughs> Nani? Injury. Congratulations, Ben. Ah! You, you didn't give in to the Biakuya theory. I'm proud, but at the same time... No, Dark Queen! It wasn't you, really? Oh my god, I need a minute. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I really do hate this kind of joke. On all grounds. A joke? I wonder. I can't believe it was Celeste! Oh, oh we haven't drunk ages. We haven't. I think now is a good time to drink. Oh, I can't believe this. So what you are saying then, is that I specifically chose to work together with Hifumi. Oh, it doesn't make sense. Why would you It's work? true, Hamtaro was his bitch. I mean her bitch. Oh, fuck you! Lucky bastard! The I mean, that asshole! The swine! Oh yeah! I feel bad to it! The swine when he was like, Oh, I love my dark queen! Yeah. That's my line. <laughs> How dare you! Oh now I hate my god. More. That could have been you, Joe. That could have been me! <laughs> could have been you. The idea that I would choose to spend any amount of time interacting with him... That I would go within 10 feet of that shit brain, that lazy, worthless goddamn <laughs> idiot! <laughs> oh, her friend Jackson <laughs> broke! Uh, 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 <laughs> oh my god. Celeste, what's, what's, what's up, girl? Evidence to support. Your best girl is evil, what's, man. What, what's going on, man? She's evil as fuck, I love it. Is that so? <laughs> oh man, she's such an evil little bitch. It is. Throughout the investigation, there was certain behavior that was common only to the two of you. Yes. Considering what we've learned so far, it only further proves that the two of you were working together. Does that mean? Because... How do you, how do you think she got him to do it? Well, th though? think about it, right? Yeah, I get that he was, like, madly, like... He liked me yeah. saying, like, shit. But... But, but then what did she promise him? Oh. Maybe she had the laptop the entire time. Ooh. Maybe, yeah. Ooh. Maybe. But what made me suspect her was the whole time she was leading the whole entire like thing when we we're going back and forth. Yeah. Like she was like, "What's that over there? Oh my god! I'm gonna scream so people come up here." Ah! Oh, you know? It's, yeah. Oh. You know, I worked it out. I, 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 honestly, I worked that out when you were like, "Sure." And then I was like thinking back through all the past years, and then it just hit me, and I was like, oh. "I just wanted to make sure you were certain," you know. Because at that one moment, like, choice, that one big decision, that's yeah. when you've got to put all your cars down and go, it is definitely yeah. this person. Makes you think about it. I got it? that in the moment, though. That yeah. was just, like, suddenly clicked all together. When it's comes to the point in the game now where you've got big... Yeah. You've really got to, like, take into account. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What was it? What is that only thing Celeste had in common? You can especially in the paper hidden in no, the screen. They both screamed, yeah. Oh, that wasn't it? Wait, what? But they did both scream. They didn't did both they? scream. What was it that? Oh, oh, encountering 
Encounter the suspicious individual! Oh, oh yeah, that's right, they were both like, oh my god, look at oh, this. Oh fuck, why did I fucking ruin that one? That was easy. The suspicious individual in the suit. Doesn't to be fair, they both scream. Yeah, they did. The only ones who ever actually saw Robo Justice firsthand were Celeste and Gifu. Oh, and no, the also, only ones who witnessed Robo also, Justice. Also, I should have thought about this even more logically. Robo Justice, Hifumi, anime. Even maybe. Oh, do you think the blueprints were his? Yes! Fuck! Oh shit! Are talking now. What? Oh, fuck you! What do you mean? Those. Fuck off! I'm really sad that it wasn't him, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, this line just cements <sighs> disappointment that Ben is feeling right now. Sorry. Oh, oh you piece of shit! No! You little bitch. <laughs> As we said, only Celeste and Hifumi ever laid eyes on the costume. I'm surprised Celeste didn't make you her slave. Yeah. If we accept that Hifumi was one of the culprits, we can't help but suspect what Celeste has said as well. Are you saying everything they told us was a lie? Queen of lies. <sighs> After taking Hifumi to the nurse's office, we all began our search for this individual, correct? And not too long after that, do you remember what Celeste said? I saw a shadow, something moving around at the top of the stairs. And why didn't anyone else see it? Oh! We headed to the second floor, specifically because of what she claimed to she have seen. Played us! Mm hmm. Next, to draw us all to the physics lab up on the third floor, the damn she fiddle. Let out a blood curdling scream. She did, yeah. And when we'd all come to see what was wrong, what was it she said? So that's what's wrong. Do you think Tafumi like thought of the Robo Justice costume though? Like, he must have done, yeah. That was his little part in it. Wasn't yeah, it? I reckon so. That was a rather in intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costumed man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Ah! Oh, she was she leading you the entire time. Getting us all up to the physics lab. Yeah. It was time for her partner to get to work. Oh. oh. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, the, this is the third time they've shown this fucking flashback. What was that? I came up downstairs, must have been I'm Taro, he's in the nurse's office. It's bad, we better go back, otherwise shit's gonna go down. It was to get us to divide into two groups. So that we would discover both bodies at the same time. Oh, that's wow, devious. she's well clever. Because I would never think about using the body discovery announcement as something in my life. Yeah, she no, used no. it to her own um, advantage. In fact, Celeste was precisely the one who proposed that we split that up. That was really <laughs> clever. <laughs> oh. And why don't we split into two groups? I'll leave a hunting party. That seems much more interesting. Very well, Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. Cool. I will lead the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Byakuya, and Sakura. Well, if Celeste and Hifumi were working together, all those chance events suddenly become connected. Yes. So that's you devious little minx, you. Oh, she's fucked, man. And on top of that, that piercing cry of yours early on. I'd make a rude joke out of what you just said, but I'm not gonna. What would the rude joke be? <laughs> Rewind the video about five seconds. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I should say Doria. Oh, oh, I can't know what I had to say. That was a weird scream. Mm -hmm. It was your way of telling him we're on the third floor. Mm. Everything's going according to plan. <laughs> Why else would you let out a scream that could have carried across the sea? Ooh. I just realized another strange thing. Oh, my. by the way, the joke was that you said that Celeste was fucked. Oh. Ah, oh, okay, I get it. I didn't want to make a joke out of it because it'd be uncomfortable. In the office, who we now know was only pretending We're a professional channel dead. here at One Shot Games. We promise. Sure we are. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. Oh, the horror! 
Who would do he such a thing? The one to say he'd been murdered. Mm -hmm. That's why we didn't check the pulse. Uh, you wanted to make sure we wouldn't have any doubt in our minds. Otherwise, we would check the pulse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, so this baby girl. Why are you making us drink like this? You swine. I believe it. Everything. The whole thing was one big act. Owie's best girl. She didn't commit any murders. Mm, she's not smart as Celeste. Kina, you were with Celeste when Hifumi's body disappeared, right? Brains over brawn. Yeah. I was feeling kind of sick. Hey, but look so where Brains Celeste just got you right now. Oh, Celeste took care of her. Okay, I know that was staged, but <laughs> shut up. Wait. To lead her away. <laughs> she wasn't worried about you. She just saw a chance to help Hifumi sneak out of the nurse's office. Oh, that was his job. This isn't much by itself, but start putting them together, and the picture gets very ugly indeed. Oh, wouldn't you agree, Celeste? Oh, I have no idea what you mean. Ah, don't bother trying to deny it. You made one fatal mistake. You messed with the color. Oh, indeed, I. And Joe and Ben. <laughs> I didn't even catch it myself when you first said it, but looking back, I can say that that one little slip up was your undoing. What are you talking about? I'm talking about what you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and we returned to the nurse's office. Oh, what did she say? They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. <gasps> what? They must be really enjoying this. So she knew those two people straight away. No, wait, that was already a thing. But they could yeah, still refer already, to yeah, one yeah, person, yeah, couldn't yeah, it, yeah, at the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. We're all going to die here. We're going to die just like those guys did. There you go. Hold um, on a minute! Just like those guys This did. was before we knew that the Taco, Taco got dead. killed! Yes. Oh no! <laughs> I remember her saying that too. Are you done fucked up? I don't understand what's so strange about If you said... Yeah. Then pay attention. Sakura, Toko, and I were first to discover Taka's body in the equipment room. Oh, that was a dumb goof thing that she did. Hifumi had been killed. So Sakura and I left with Makoto. Once we were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the four of us headed to the nursery. Why didn't it click with me then? <laughs> if I saw guys. Oh, literally just one word, and that would have proved once and for all that Celeste is suspicious. How did I miss that? <laughs> I need to go back and rewatch my footage. I, I don't understand how I didn't yeah. see that. The entire time we were together, none of us said anything about Taka being dead. Yeah. Think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. It was completely out of place. Yes, it was. So yeah, Biake must have knew, known him. Then. Although I don't really get what it means. He knew that she did it straight away then. Must have you done, yeah. That, Celeste? Everyone's having some trouble understanding. Could you repeat what you said? <laughs> hey, you leave her alone, man. Aww. Don't you bring a condescending attitude on my woman. If you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? <laughs> Oh. Your woman is about to die, man. Come on, sis, refute that shit. You can do it. Even if it means we all die because of it. Be accurate, so let's, let's comment. Oh, okay. But what uh, is he alluding to? Oh, it's obvious what he's alluding to. Wanna come and follow through you? Why do we need to that? That ain't the real word on the board, is it? Oh, maybe it is. Hold on. All I said was. Word. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened yeah, and confused. Like they must be positively elated. We are all going to die here. Yes. We are going to die. Just like those guys died. Oh no, you guys. It wasn't that. It wasn't it wasn't that truth, but it. Oh, we need to we need to scan. Remember when I said that this is the point of the game where you got to stop and think. Yeah. So this is this this oh is one of those times. <laughs> oh god! I, hold on. I've got to scan something. Whoops, my bad. They must really be enjoying, oh, okay. enjoying. Maybe there's another statement near the end of it. Ah. Oh. Might be. Hang on. Hang on. The map. Yeah. We haven't seen the whole thing yet. Yeah, sure. 
We are all going to die here. We are going to die. Just like those guys died. And that is all I say. And that's all it takes to finish this. It's obvious, isn't it? What was so strange about so Oh, it's totally that. So strange. Yeah, you got, you got scammed so strange. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oops. How do I get revived? Just fire anyway. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> from the voice when it's fed up. Everyone's going chip on. And that's all it takes to finish. And that's all it And it's on those guys. I was right, I just had the wrong bit. Yeah, the wrong bit of it. There we go. Bye, Celeste. I'm just sorry, Celeste. That's not it. That's right. There's no reason Celeste should have said, just like those guys died. When she said that, None of us had told her Taka was dead. Mm hmm Oh! You had gun fucked up, Celeste! Sorry, dude. Exactly. Ugh. And we didn't run into her until after we were She's all... She's making us drink a lot. Yeah, that's her plan, but that's definitely working. So there was never any chance for her to have seen his body in the equipment room for herself. Mm hmm so how did you know, Celeste? Oh, it was guys. I can't wait to see this like is the is facade. A... I can't wait to see the facade drop now. Oh. How did you know more than one person had been killed? And how did you know they were both guys? Why did I pick this up when it first died? <laughs> I feel like it's the simplest dunder. little thing. But it's elusive enough to for them to get away with it. <laughs> it's actually quite clear how they did this. Also disappeared, right? So she could have been dead too. I think out of all the chapters so far, this one's definitely been like the best one in terms of mysteries. Yeah. Ah. Oh. And this little things they planted here and there. The music's changing. Oh, here we go. Trail. Here we go. <laughs> oh fuck. Am I sensing mad laughter? Oh no. You all have such vivid imaginations. You know that? No. Imaginations. Imagination. You claim that I was lying when I told you about the suspicious person I saw. Mm -hmm. Then what about the picture I took? A Robo Justice picture. You dragged him through me away. Yeah. It could have been stage. But I mean, that means heroes was on it. Explain this picture of the costumed villain dragging Hifumi away. Because if Fumi, no, not if Fumi, Hero was in the, the Robo Justice costume. He could have been in that one, though. He was locked in the cupboard, he said. Yeah, wait, what? Yeah, what, what the fuck's up with that? It, it has to be some kind of setup. If she's right? got a point. She's, she's got leeway. She can strike back. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Come on, Ben. Harden your resolve. So let's put the suit on, and then, then she used the camera's timer to, to set up the picture. Yeah! Have you so quickly forgotten? You are the only one who could have possibly... Oh, smart girl. She's yes, not out yet. I happen to know that this particular camera does not have a timer. She took the camera, didn't she? She said if anyone wants yeah, to use it. Yeah, she did. Yeah, Do you reckon she found it that far back? Fuck me! And she's like, I'll take the camera for uh, no apparent reason. <laughs> in other words, it is an unassailable fact that this is a picture of Hifumi being dragged away. I still think you're evil. If everything I told you was a lie, oh, she's super how evil. Can this picture exist? I love it. Can <laughs> exist with a save. It's a problem. Mm. We've been dancing on a knife edge for this case. Three lives constantly. Simple. Are we sure that's really a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away? Yeah, it, it could be a, a stage. I see you two like to live dangerously. Surely there are other explanations than the one you've offered up. Yeah, of course there are. No, there is no other explanation. Other explanation? <laughs> that picture. It wasn't a picture of the suspects dragging Hifumi away. Got it. What? The safe picture on a phone. On a 
phone into the camera. They can't save. Wait, hang on. Can they save pictures on that camera? Can that camera save pictures? We don't know that That's yet. That's a digital camera. It's got to be. It is, it? yeah. It could just be one of a Fumi at a Comic Con or something. A f but then a fan con. But then the building is the rec room, isn't it? That that's not the rec room though. Yeah, it is. Is it? It's the blue background, isn't it? Oh. The Fumi is dragging the suster at the way. The Fumi and the suster have been drinking and dancing. Okay, it's probably the first one then, because those two sound ridiculous. So Fumi's dragging the suspect away. Wait, what? How the fuck is the Fumi managing that? It's opposite. Oh, right. It's opposite and also... Yeah, because he was stuffing Hero into a fucking cupboard. So was Hero unconscious at the time? Yeah, he must have been. <laughs> I don't know why. There's something about that I find really funny. That is quite funny. This so Fumi's just like... Not Fumi. I keep getting those two mixed I up. I can't believe Fumi could actually... Push hero in the, the fact that the hero is just stuck yeah. in the robot costume, that... like high off his mind. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just been dragged around, all this shit's going on. I would say it's a picture of he flew me dragging the suspect. Oh away. Christ, hero! Oh my God, he got played the most. Oh no! That's certainly within the realm of possibility. The one being dragged off in that picture isn't Hifumi, but the person in the robot suit. <laughs> That's quite Hero funny. Hero was just high as a kite. Or and and the reason why costume. he's screaming is because it's really heavy to drag him. Or maybe Hifumi was staging that. Yeah, Because yeah. at this point in time, we know oh, that working with Hantara yeah, and yeah. Celeste were yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, accomplices. Yeah. We have simply been led to believe that it's the other way around. Oh, man. So, so much setup, man. For this murder, Jesus. Even and they cracked it all. If you saw someone wearing smart. something like that in this <laughs> situation, of course you'd notice and be suspicious. So this may be really evil, but she's also really smart as yeah. well. That's what happened. You put me to sleep and made me out to be the <laughs> bad guy in all this. Yeah, right. Uh, Press to stick one of those spits in your mouth, you being old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's evil and smart. That is a winning combination in my books. I'm really worried about what what girls you like on Tinder. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> Such a thing is utterly impossible. <gasps> oh. Oh. If Fumi was dragging him away, ridiculous. Oh. Why is it ridiculous, Celeste? Is it? I don't think it's ridiculous at all. Hey, back off, homegirl. Then shut your mouth. And oh sh. Ooh. You. <laughs> oh, there you go. Celeste thinks she can prove that there's no way Hifumi was dragging the suspect away. But is that really possible? Oh god! Oh shit. Oh, the music's getting so serious now. It's getting tense. Oh shit. <laughs> the costume, the blueprints, and the and hero's message. Fuck, which one is it? You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out! That's what they got to say. Then you just drape me across Hifumi and had him carry my weight. Yeah, that's true. You tried to make me look like the bad guy. Like I said, ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight like that. Then the fortune-telling idiot is the culprit after hmm. all. No way. It's something to do with bending. Yeah, I, I think you're right. If I remember right, Hina said she said, said that she, she couldn't, couldn't bend, bend at the waist. Thereby, it has to be a Fumi dragging a uh, hero away because yeah. the costume couldn't bend. But what evidence have we got proves that? The blueprints. The blueprints. Should we double check just in case? Yeah. yeah, yeah double yeah, check yeah. our truth with us. You're gonna do that all the time, aren't you? Uh, so what we got? We got the blueprints. It's the blueprints. It's the blueprints. What do they say exactly? These are the blueprints for Rebel Justice. Have the arms been like this? They were bent like that in the actual picture, weren't they? Yeah. We've got the costume too. No one but hero could have possibly fit into the costume. And they can't bend at the waist more than 90 degrees. So it's either the costume or the blueprints. Yeah, it's the costume or the blueprints. Which one are we going to use? Probably just the blueprints. No, costume. Like you got blueprints, of course, at the moment. There you go. 
as you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, yeah. there's no way they could stand up straight. There we go. No, That's right one. No. Even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up. Yeah, like they that. can't just crumple over and go. Ugh, uh, yeah. Can actually hold their weight. Yeah. Because that Robo Justice suit had a certain characteristic. I knew it. <laughs> I like the point the screen just did then. Yeah. The Tycon bent at the waist seems like a pretty obvious oversight. <laughs> and there's Celeste in the background going, oh fuck. They totally made a mistake when they made it, so it couldn't bend at the waist. Ah, no. <laughs> I'm not so sure that was a mistake. No. I think the suit was designed from the beginning to be used the way it was. Oh, oh I oh, guess. Man, She's like, yeah, I got this figured out. All she needs now is like a Sherlock Holmes cap and like a cigar. Yeah. Ooh, oh, I've seen that sprite before. Oh, look at the claws. She Ooh. looks vampiric in that, like, in that sprite. Celeste and Hifumi took Calm down, Jerry. Hey. Designed and stuck Hero into Lady vampires are hot, okay. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. You got a thing against fans? No. Glad we're both on the same wavelength there. <laughs> fans are hot, we have both decided. <laughs> <laughs> well then, I suppose this is checkmate. I think so too. Oh shit, is that like a berserk button? She's a gambler. Checkmate. What is this word that you've just uttered to my face, which I've never heard before? Oh Celeste, you naughty girl, you. You naughty girl, you absolute little minx, you. Explain yourself. Explain yourself. I'm nodding my head right now. <laughs> oh my. Although I do take great pride in knowing that Aoi's innocent in all of this and she lives on. If anything, Celeste being the culprit makes her even hotter. So it's all good. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, are we going to go upside down? Oh, uh, <laughs> we're, going, we're doing a full 360. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh shit, it was a berserk button. <laughs> How dare you have to checkmate to me. Oh god. Celeste? Oh. Clearly, you want to cram me into your little guilty box. Well, there's one little problem. Her French accent's completely gone. Yeah. She's dropped it, man. She was faking it, Joe. Hey, it means she can roleplay. That's always a plus. already forgotten what Hifumi told us as he lay dying? Hero. He mentioned his name. Uh, excuse me, but... But he's still but, an accomplice. But he's still a freaking accomplice, yeah. so his point is invalid yeah. now. He tried to kill you. <gasps> Grace us, Ben. Grace us with your Hifumi voice. Who killed me? Oh. That's right. I remember the name. Yes. Here. Raw. Savor audience. When we asked him who had attacked him, his answer was quite clear, was it not? <laughs> She's gone chip on <laughs> my <mate. laughs> oh, God. Once you know Fall Apart is quite entertaining. It is though. free it is a good show, not gonna lie. He said, and I quote, Yasuhiro. Yasuhiro has a great! <laughs> Oh, her voice actress is nailing it at the moment. <laughs> right. But my name isn't really Yasuhiro. It's actually... No, it's not. Don't bullshit me, Hero. Your name's up on the bloody thing. He's fucking Tara. liar. He's bullshitting. He, he's Yoko Taro! He's, oh, God. Really? Another Yoko Taro joke? He's Yoko Taro! <laughs> I can see that moon head right on his right now. Oh, my now. God! <gasps> my name is Taro. Yoko Taro. Oh, my God. Confusing statements don't make any sense. Buy my t shirts. <laughs> he did say Yasuhiro, but are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hiro? Well, yeah, that's his name. What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you a lot! Ooh. Psst. She's 
smoke. Sorry, I should be turned on by all this. <laughs> I have a problem. Oh shit, the hearts came up, you know what that means. Oh, here we go. He said people's last names. He was serious a lot. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Mr. Nayagi. That's right. Our last names. He called us all by our last names. Wait, Mr. Yasuhiro? Yeah. Exactly. But I know I heard him say Mr. Nayagi more than once, for example. He does. But how is that? If Fumi did mean to say Hiro's name, he would have said his last name, Hagakure. Hold the fuck up! Are you telling me that... He betrayed yeah, he no. you right at the end. No, are you telling me that... Yes, you, the fact that he said yes to Hiro is someone's second name. Yeah. It's Celestia bullshitting about more than this whole case. Oh man. I'm sure it was just incidental. By chance, he just his never. Name. He's never once done that. Indecent. Yeah, he was quite set in his ways, wasn't he? Mm. Indecent. Shut up, Joe. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Just don't talk. Don't. Random chance. Now isn't that a convenient explanation? No, there's no reason to think he would have said the name any different than normal. But he must have run out of energy before he could say any more. So he flew me was trying to tell us the last name of whoever killed him? But the name he said doesn't apply to anyone here. Well, no. Hold on. There's one person it could apply to. And that's Celeste. She never actually told her real her name. name oh fuck! Cause she's dropped the French accent now. Yeah. Does Ludenberg, her second name, really hold him all weight? All no. <laughs> what did you just say? Ah, he he was gonna. And if you notice her like little name thing, on yeah. the lines there, it just says Celeste, whereas everyone else says like yeah, Yasuhiro Hagakure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says yeah. that whole entire name. Oh, Celeste is just very Celeste. Clever, That's a plot oh, point. Oh, you bastards! That Spike Chunsoft knew what they were doing. Accusation so far, I don't know whether to laugh or spit. <laughs> That's definitely not French anymore. Okay, mate. who is her voice actress? Because she's pretty awesome. <laughs> Your idiotic blather. Yasuhiro is a loser's name. Do I look like a loser to you? Why? Why is that a loser's name? I think it's quite a cool name. Well, do I? Holy shit. Damn, that's a new one too. <laughs> what? I think I've earned the right to be a little on. She looks like she's put a finger in a plug socket or something. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, then fill us in. What's your real name? Oh, oh will you tell us? Make sure your ear holes are wide open and listen up! Tell us, Celeste, if that is your real name. <laughs> My real name is Celestia Ludenberg. Could you please stop making me repeat myself over and over again? Then why are you dropping the French accent always? Celeste still won't give up. So then... I have to do something to make her accept it. Oh, here we go again. Oh, boy. Whoa! E ha. E ha! Look! Oh, that's what it was used for! I love how we both said that at the exact same time. <laughs> we were, at the beginning, we were both like, oh, it's just E ha! Look! It's yeah. got nothing to do with anything. It's gotta be it. Let's see your handbook, Celeste. It would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. How many times do I have to tell you? My name is... Here we go. It's upside down, too. How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending. It's the truth. <laughs> and since you have no way to contradict... Oh, but we do! Young Celeste, if that is your real name. <laughs> That's it, the handbook. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, oh we see the shadow drop now. What? <laughs> Nani? 
any time you turn your handbook on, it shows the owner's name when it boots up, right? Monokuma told us all about it before. Yeah, here we go. The handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. So all we have to do is check her handbook, and that'll clear up everything. Oh, and that's she broke. That's how we can find out Celeste's real name. Yeah. That's an invasion of privacy. I refuse to cooperate. Why would you refuse something like that, though, Celeste? Yeah, it's a class troll. Because oh. drinking. He's having a victory drink right now. Hold my beer, Kyoko. Celeste. Can you please just tell us what really happened? Please, just tell us. Oh, she is not going to give in to like the party face. Oh, <laughs> Poppy dog eyes. She's going to eat the shit out of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're begging me, Makoto. Even when I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Ooh. Oh, so she's given up. Because... Because, 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 <laughs> Okay, Celeste is a fucking great character. I'm sorry, even if she is for the book. You never know what might happen. Just the way her lines are delivered are pretty hilarious. Oh man, the voice actor nailed this. Whoever she, whoever this voice actress is, I need to know. Fine then, let me set her. Oh yeah. Let me go over the case. Here we go. From the beginning. And shed light on all your crimes. Gonna draw some comic books, Frank yeah, Miller style. Everything to an end. There we go. Gotta go with Viva and Dare on your ass. Time for a comic. Oh my God! Look at Hamtaro's face down there. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That is a stuff of nightmares. That is even scarier than like the pigs from Bloodborne. <laughs> It just reminds me of that. Oh my god, that is a face only a mother could love. Oh. It looks like they shaved a fucking gorilla. Holy shit, I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's, <laughs> let's figure this out. In this case, how did the killer recruit their accomplice? Is it seduction? Alright, what we got? Where's the laptop? <laughs> Do you reckon it's the laptop? What other, what other pages we got? Oh, definitely not. Why is that there? Do you reckon maybe it's the middle one? The one with Hamtaro facing the left, just because like he's facing the black and that one. Yeah, they're looking face to face, yeah. and then they were like, "Let's do this shit." Yeah, I guess so. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh shit, we can't really afford. Oh man! <laughs> Hero just got Bill Cosby. Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> Not that. Wait, what time did the killer call the victim to the rec room? Oh, it was um six o'clock. No, 1 a.m. It was 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Is that one? No, that's yeah, 1 a.m. Rec room. Yeah, one. One o'clock. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, who was the killer? Some who? Yeah. Who is it? The killer summoned first. Uh, it was a hero, wasn't they it? Summoned. Hero. Yeah, I guess so. That would make sense. Could he's right there. Yeah. Page oh, three. Look at that. All right. Anyway, they stuff him in the suit. They knocked him out and stuffed him, him in the robot just to suit falsify the evidence. There's a certain item to do that. What the The camera? Oh yeah. No, no way, not yet. What's that? No, it wouldn't be a camera, wouldn't it? It's not the camera they stuffed in. Well, that's how they, that's how they falsified the evidence, didn't they? Oh, they, oh right, they, right. They snapped the picture. The camera, yeah. Oh no, they know, but it said they stuffed him in the suit. How did they do that? Down on the right, they just did that. Oh, oh right, they just did it. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, there's Kyondo. What time was Taka supposed to head to the Oh room my room? god. Why is Hamtaro the stuff of nightmares in this entire comic right now? Oh my god. Oh, never... Look at those eyes! Jesus! Oh man, that would be terrifying. Ooh. Oh I'm no! Gonna I'm gonna have nightmares. Look out, Kyondo! Oh, you evil little bastard, Hamtaro. Look at, look at his eye there. You little like, fuck. Oh, what? What? Sorry, what's this? The Justice Hammer that was killed. Oh, Tarka, shit, what number? what number was it? Four. It was four, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Number four. Is that four? He yeah, asked four. Yeah. Because Hamtaro yeah. got hit by three, didn't he? No, he hit himself. Yeah. 
In the library, Fumi used something to fake the existence of a shadowy criminal. Uh. Um. Hmm? Why is the crystal ball from chapter one in this? And why is the bloody. That's that misconjunction. Oh. Why is the poster Use the hammer. Use the hammer free. Yeah. Hammer free. Uh, and he's like, oh, okay. Which justice happens in the nurse's office when the three most tend to be Oh, dead? wait, oh, no, that's free. Oh. Two. No, sorry, he no, used two. No, it was three, wasn't he it? He used two, didn't he? Oh, that's he right, yeah. It was two, but it was three. Yeah, I, you're right, I remember that now. I love the way Fumi's like spraying herself with blood. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. Oh. Look at me, I'm a butterfly. I'm a ballerina. I'm a ballerina swimming blood. Oh. Yeah, everyone's like, oh shit. Oh shit, they're all dead. They're both dead. They're both dead. Oh, there we go. And when he's out. Uh, where's the trolley? The oh, do you reckon it's that one? That one. Oh yeah. my god, look at that. Oh, look yeah. at his team. Oh my god, Hunter, <laughs> you little fuck. Just by looking at these new pictures of him, is making me hate him even more than I did when he was alive. Master, did I, did I achieve my goal, Master? Um, Are you happy with me, Master? Oh, and the black one's like, yeah, man. Yeah, you did. Oh, Celeste knocked the shit out of him. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Boom. We are done. Who is you? Here we go. Before anything. The killer persuaded someone to help carry out the murder. And that person was... <laughs> With an accomplice, the killer was able to execute a number of otherwise impossible schemes. Hey. First, they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. How do you think they lured in there, like, we got some good weed? Must mean the note, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, but that too. That would've, that would've worked <laughs> as well. We got your stash. Probably would've worked even better as well, basically. We got your stash. We got your stash. <laughs> oh, shit! The murderous duo intended to pass Hero off as the prime suspect. So when they met up with him... They drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the robo-justice suit. I'm sure he didn't mind the drugs in the car. <laughs> Probably used to it. Next, he fully positioned himself to make it look like Robo Justice was attacking him, while the killer used a digital camera to take pictures of the assault. They did all this just to create evidence that would put the suspicion on Hero. When they were done with him, they shoved him, still unconscious, into the pool room locker. And then finally, that's terrifying. Oh, they moved my into God. the murder phase of their plan. <laughs> Every single picture of Hamtaro has been the stuff of nightmares equipment. right now. I'm actually gonna have nightmares. Who tonight. knew he held such disdain <laughs> in the world? <laughs> oh God! Who threw I'm him away? I'm gonna go to sleep, and I'm just gonna see him there in my dream. <laughs> Who cast away his fan fiction? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Oh, that's not fair! You fucking sneak attack, Kyondo. Making it the scene of the first murder. What's even worse is how did he get away with doing a sneak attack? So he killed. So big that he's like feet and legs. Yeah. So he killed Taka, that bastard. More reasons for me to hate him even more. The murder weapon was Justice Hammer Four, which was left there in the equipment room. The reason Hammer Number Four was used was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. So, next they falsified two more assault incidents. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims to solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. The first fake incident was the attack in the rec room. There, the killers wanted us to see Justice Hammer 1 and the Robo Justice pictures they'd taken. They wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack store. Gotta say, this is a very the second fake yes, incident was very the elaborate. In the Indeed. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2 and an injured Hifumi to sell us that story. With these two incidents, the killers were able to create a certain preconception in our minds. That the suspect was increasing the size of the hammers and attacking people in order as they did. We fell right into their trap and started looking for the suspect based on that, but... My god, the prep on this was unreal. 
While we did that, we left Yifumi alone in the nurse's office. Big mistake. You know what could have what could have put a spanner in the works for this little uh, plan? She had a lot of variables in this that could have fucked her over big time. There was one of them choose to stay in the nurse's office and watch a Fumi. That's already fucked the plan up big time. Yeah, that's why Celeste was in there though, so she can make sure that it wouldn't happen. Cause she got yeah, Aoi yeah, to go to the bathroom exactly was for. and got my code to go upstairs. Yeah, that's true. Actually, she did think it all through, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> and turn the room into a crime scene in which he himself had apparently been brutally murdered. <laughs> La, look at me. Oh, God. Monokuma put that bluff he hack here on purpose. He draw us back. And when we return, that's what we found. I can put it in there knowing that someone might use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other group that had been out searching found Taka's body at the same time. I really like the art what? style for these comics. Yeah. No one's used the uh, no one's used the sewing kit yet. Nah. All the hammers. Well, yeah. mind you, it was kind of technically used a little bit in chapter one. But... Yeah, yeah, but the sewing kit wasn't. Nah. So when we heard the body discovery announcement, we naturally assumed it was for Hifun. Got me. It tricked me. Fuck. It tricked me. All right. Could have fooled us. We left the nurse's office. And Yifumi once again took advantage of the situation. He simply got up and made his escape. When we learned his body had disappeared, we all rushed back to the nurse's office. And once again, Yifumi had the chance he was waiting for. This time, he snuck into the equipment room. He wrapped Taka's body in a tarp and use the dolly to move it all the way down to the repository. Oh, well, everyone was downstairs. That explains how each of the bodies disappeared. Was that a good boy? But uh, even didn't know what the true killer had in mind. Yes, you're a life. wonderful pet. Now I shall punish you. <laughs> Bonk. Down Paro goes. All along was to kill Hifumi <laughs> and get rid of the one person who could betray them. And they did it using an ordinary, everyday hammer from the repository. That should cover everything that happened in this case. And the villain behind it all is. That was the glamorous, devious, and incredibly clever. This girl whose name we don't know yet. Celeste, sorry, you lose. Oh, that's gonna piss her off. Oh. You lose. That's the worst thing to probably say to a gambler. Oh shit. Lost? I lost? When was the last time I was forced to utter such words? They hang heavy around my neck. I can't tell if she's been French or if she's been like normal voice then you admit it you're the killer listen to you trying to take charge as if you're my private instructor I Celestia Ludenberg I wouldn't mind being a private instructor actually no oh oh Taiko Yasuhiro is fine oh wow that voice really changed oh. Oh. Tycho. So you finally accepted it. Is that her real name? Tycho. Tycho Yasuhiro. Yeah. That's why I'm Taurus is Yasuhiro. He meant Yeah. I'm the kind of person. Once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. Interesting. Wow, that's the end of that. Now one more question remains. Why? Yes. Why? What motivated her to cause such atrocities? Hey, going A. Hey. 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 <laughs> Look at you go. Give me that Monokuma money. I know where that's going. Okay, Monokuma. I'm ready to begin. Wow. No, I want to hear or, your story first. No. I suppose this is the end, isn't it? 
Yep. Oh shit. Hi Celeste. Hmm. Hmm. Why is he? It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to vote. Okay? Okay. You know what this doesn't explain though? Who's the spy? If you would, please locate your lever and cast your vote. That's gonna be like a last minute thing, isn't it? Ah. Uh, That's gonna be like an end game kind and of when plot the votes twist, are probably. Tallied, who will become the blackened? <laughs> It's very obvious who we're voting for. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, I think he knows very well. He knows. Yay! Woohoo! We did it! He Yay! should be crying. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't execute my wife. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. I keep forgetting that they lose their voices at this point. Uh, yeah. It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you're totally correct. The black and this time, the true killer who devised the whole stinking scheme was... <laughs> Celestia Ludenberg, or more precisely, Taika Yasuhiro. I suppose I better talk normally then, she should drop the whole French yeah. aside. I lost. Well that sucks. I guess trying to work with someone else was a mis was a mistake after all. If he means ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. I knew it. So you really did approach Ifumi with this plan. But how did you get him to agree? I can't imagine you would have happily agreed to commit murder. Yeah. Hm. I'm sure she relied on her speciality. <laughs> Lying. <laughs> My speciality? Don't make me laugh. I don't have to lie to get him to agree. <laughs> he just drops out his names when I said, I give him 2D. Mm, I, it's so definitely then. to do with alter ego. Then did you use, mm. you know. <sighs> I knew you figured it out, Kyoko. Yeah. You're absolutely right. To get her for me to act as my accomplice, Indeed. I used her. <gasps> Wait! She's got to be careful what she's saying around Monokuma right now. For well, everyone who's still left, I'd avoid mentioning it by name, but it was the one thing Ifumi and Taka were both super into. Does she mean she talking about alter ego? Say what? 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 What, what are you talking about? Uh, huh? Just a second. Don't interrupt. I'm going to have a very important conversation here. Oh! <laughs> Turning Monokuma. Wait, she's been doing that for a while. She it? actually has been. <laughs> I'm totally out of the loop as usual. That was sad. And yes, I think tells me that he kind of knows a little bit of what's going on. Because he's that, like, conniving of an arsehole. Yeah. Then you're the one that stole it. Indeed. That's right. I see. And you use it to drag Hifumi into the plan you've come up with. <laughs> right again. Last night, after we had our meeting about how it disappeared, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Um... Oh, I'm Tara Voice! Oh, um, what are you doing here? Actually, I was hoping I could talk to you alone. Alone? Okay. Really? With me? Mm-hmm. It's about what was stolen. I know who did it. You do? What? <laughs> are you okay with this? Oh my god, I just saw, hang on, once this gets out of the way, I'll, I'll point out to you. Uh, it was Taka. He stole it. Oh. That bastard! <laughs> So then... And I have proof. Would you like to see it? Oh my god, look at all his pretty pudgy princess oh merch. Oh my god. He's got a bed. Where did he get the bed from? Why did he got a bed? And the yeah. figurines. What does Monokuma know about his like little obsession with anime? Monokuma's like, here's your creepy anime bullshit. Go, go rife in it or whatever you oh. do to it. That explains why you've got nothing though. Because Makoto is like boring and average and shit. So he's got nothing of interest in his room, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. What is this Kakuto ladies in the background? Can someone please explain to me what Kakuto ladies mean? <laughs> As it turned out, I found a use for the digital camera. Actually, no, this is a uh, non-French Celeste. Yes. I take you know what to Tucker's room earlier and took pictures of it there. Well, hold on, in the flashback it would be French Celeste. But she's talking about her flashback. Oh, right, yeah. In real time. Oh, right. 
I delete the picture as soon as I show it to Hifumi, of course. Damnation! No! Sorry for him! But how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if... Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. She was supposed to yell if Eva was close to her! Oh, you're an idiot then, Pantamo, and then clearly she's lying. Yeah. <sighs> you are correct. Which is why Taka forced me to steal it. <gasps> oh, you play a... Say what? What? As for me... Please forgive me, he... He threatened me. Ooh. Oh, so he makes him seem like a hero. Oh, no. Oh, he, he did. As for me... He came to my room last night unannounced, and then... It's hard for me to even say it. <gasps> oh fuck! Oh, oh shit! God. That's actually oh, oh, that's a lie too. Oh, oh my god, oh, Celeste! No. I mean, I know, I know, I, I know, I'm like Rufo because she's evil, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's quite, uh, well, that, that's actually quite fucked up. Yeah, that is. I'm not gonna lie. Everyone's got their thoughts, I guess. But Jesus, oh. he abused me. What? What? <laughs> and he, he took pictures. He said if I did not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. Oh, frog. Oh my god. Oh no. So I... I had no choice. You devil. Damnation! That's a crime! An absolute crime! I mean, I knew he'd gone a little crazy, but... I never imagined he would, would, would go that far! <laughs> it was amazing how completely he bought it. I mean, it was amazing how completely he bought it. <laughs> Can't express how enjoyable that was. I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to... Oh. I'm going to... Fucking kill him! Oh, Jesus. Hamtaro just dropped an F-bomb. Wait, please. If you go now, you'll be playing right into his hands. Actually... Taka is planning to use her. To escape, and he has made you his target. What? Escape? You don't mean? Taka is going to try to kill you. <laughs> Indeed. And also, he can keep her to himself. Oh, oh she took God. advantage hard. This <laughs> that. Is unforgivable. That that bastard. Can we allow him to continue these barbaric acts? <laughs> Absolutely not! How could I? She... She... I swear I will save her! I have to save her! Actually... Then, would you like to join with me? It just so happens that I've come up with a plan. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I've devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> and with that, it is complete. Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. Nothing. <laughs> if we agreed about a second thought, <laughs> the effect that item had on him was remarkable. Mm. The power of love. Even though love is twisted as that can still drive people mad, it would seem. Oh. It's like those people who like marry their cars and like buildings and all sorts of or things. Or Japanese people marry their Vitas so they can be yeah. one of their waifus. <laughs> and one of the waifu now. True oh, story. Yeah. You disgust me. I see. I have another question for you. Was that strange costume for Fumi's creation? Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. It was a real pain in the butt too. What I asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. I had no idea he makes something like that, ah, but it's my fault for picking him in the first place. <laughs> but... So why did you decide to make me the suspect? <sighs> because you're stupid. <laughs> well, you're not wrong there. Huh? That's it. Let's see. In that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. <laughs> Life must have been tough on your parents, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. Poor Mrs. Hagakure. I feel like I could cry. 
No, poor Yoko Taro. He's Yoko Taro now. Oh, we yeah. now know his name's Taro. He is we're now canon in our lore that he is now Yoko Taro. Oh, oh Yoko boy. Taro, I'm sorry. Well. But when you were explaining your plan to Hifumi, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? What she's asking is, what was Hifumi supposed to do after that, assuming you'd actually let him live? Are you okay with this? That simple. After he did his part and pretended to be dead, once someone showed up, I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he just barely held on. Mm. And he really believed me? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. That wasn't all there was to it. As I explained it to Hifumi, the plan was... While you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Hifumi would have an alibi, so nobody could doubt him. I told him that and he believed it. <laughs> it all seems very straightforward. Stereotypical. I wouldn't say straightforward. <laughs> I just matched the lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, Hifumi AR. He believed the lie wholeheartedly, right up until the moment of his death. So in the end. So you planned to kill him all along? <laughs> but of course. There would have been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. What the heck? How could human life mean so little to you? Well... That's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Don't be mean! Now you sound like Biakia! I wonder about Too bad I wasn't him, eh, Ben? Mm. So, no, he derived his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Mm. Why? Then, what made you take things so far? What the heck? Was it really just for money? Mm. You talk about the $10 million when the Kuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. <sighs> That's not all there is to it. From the moment our new life here began, my only thought has been escape. Mm. Oh man, but she was all about... Yeah, about how we should adjust our new lives and shit. Yeah, you she, she did that to play off the suspicion. Damn, the prep behind this shit, man. Yeah. But all along you've been saying how we have to accept living here. You little bitch. <laughs> Obviously that was a lie. <laughs> you little bitch. Hey. I couldn't take it. I hated it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. <laughs> I want to get out. Every day was fresh torture. And do you want to know why? Huh? This is fine. Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream forever. What was her dream? Honestly. And there was no way that I could ever do that. What was her dream? In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. As for me... And it was all for that dream. And what was this dream of yours? Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> to live in a European castle? What? What? A castle? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> to gather handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butler slash bodyguards. Oh my there god! There you go, Jerry. Apply. Apply now. And mate, I'll kiss Effie any day. Apply <laughs> now. Man, look at his red eyes and shit. <laughs> I was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need. Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfectly ascetic world of decadence. Oh my this god. Even the rest of my life there was my only dream, my only goal. <laughs> that could have been me in the background somewhere with those red eyes. <laughs> That's what life is all about. <sighs> I have to dress, by the way. Very gothic like. Mm. Combine my own winnings, Monokuma's $10 million would have made that dream a reality. Oh, it was for money. I got right to the edge, but... There is nothing to be done. Unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream to the very end, so why would I? Just the worst. You sound so passionate, but... You were really able to kill your own friends for it? Oh. You ask me to feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavour. Mm. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. <laughs> Do you understand? That's all there is to me. That's what makes me... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. What is this? That's what we should be saying. And plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> huh. 
My ability to lie is unrivaled, and I take pride in that. Ah, oh, she's shitting herself, really. Oh, man. It's not just other people. I can even fool my own emotions. A conscious disease, the unconscious, oh. or a subconscious, and all that shit. Yeah. Believe in a lie high enough, and it becomes the truth. Yeah. That's why you're not scared. Yes, indeed. That's right. I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. <sighs> but you know, if I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice, then. Isn't it wonderful? I think I'd like to come back as Marie Antoinette. <laughs> hey. You just get executed again. <laughs> 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 Celeste smiled then. So, Celeste is... So, unlike Mondo and Leon, her, her case is, is pretty damn selfish. Yeah. i got to give her respect for, like, sticking to the whole, like, you know, I did it because I'm an asshole and so yeah. I believe in. I will sacrifice anyone to get yeah. what I want. Even though it's really evil, I've yeah. got to give her like respect for like sticking by that until her the end. Gun. Even though sticking it, to her gun. yeah, even though it is proper like evil and oh, selfish, oh, like oh nothing but like cruelty and selfishness has like come out of this motive. Yeah. Whereas with everyone else, you kind of felt sorry for them. Yeah. If anything, it, it, it makes Hamtaro be a bit more um, sympathetic because he thought she got abused. Yeah, he got really yeah, angry about it, and he was yeah, like, he was only trying to protect her. Tucker that arsehole. Yeah. So, really, they were like the biggest victims out of all yeah. of this, really. Still, best goal, though. <laughs> you can't take that away from me. I'm, if she's sticking with that to the end, I'm sticking with that to the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she claims she could fool her own feelings. Maybe I'm just fooling my own feelings, Ben. Oh, I don't know anymore, man. Oh, man. I don't know. Right. I don't know, man. There's something deeply wrong with oh. me. It's alright, we can get that checked out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but the statement itself must have been her final lie. And with that weak, fake smile, it's what betrayed her. Kills, kills, kills. You're done? Okay, let's get rolling. The black and disturb the peace, I must pay the price. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. For her, the ultimate gambler. Oh, I wonder what it's going to be. Oh man, farewell Celeste. You're a, you're a pretty oh. intriguing character. Wait, hold on. What? What? This is... Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why, actually, it's not important. No, tell us! Well then, take care everyone. Oh man. Perhaps we'll meet again. In another life. I sure oh. hope so, Celeste. I mean, sorry, Taiko Yasuhiro. Oh, here we go. No, not by the hair. It's always by the hair, damn it. <laughs> Seriously. Hair's a very big issue in this game. Ooh. What the actual Oh, hell? where's the castle she wanted? Lots of people. Yeah. <gasps> oh shit! <gasps> no! Oh, she's been burned at the stake. That is poetic as fuck. But damn. Oh, that's the worst death. I think mean, that is definitely the worst way to go out by flames. But I guess in a way she kind of wanted that death. Mm. She wanted to be reincarnated as that um, that French character. Yeah. Some Joan of Arc shit, man. Oh. She's literally melting. Oh. What? Oh. Into her. That was a poetic. That you, was a poetic at all. That arsehole. You, you know little shit, Monokuma. It's like because that's the death she wanted, so he just fucking ruined Monokuma's it. like, nope, I ain't letting you get a happy ending, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna ram a fire truck into you. Oh man, it's over. 
Because that's the death she wanted, right? And then he was just like, nah, like, that's not how she yeah. goes out. I like how they try and make it theoretical like that. Yeah. But then Murakum was like, nah, I'm just going to ram a truck into you. Fuck <laughs> <Yeah>. it. Nah. <laughs> That's kind of a, that's a, that's quite a poetic, it's still quite a poetic execution. Until the fire truck came. Yeah, but I think that was the whole point of it, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. The third execution is over. Celeste's death is over. Celeste killed my friend, so I can't pity her, but... I always can't deny that at one point, I consider her a wife too. <laughs> friend, John! I mean friend, sorry, it's still sticking with me. And for him to just come along and... Isn't it just awful? Someone couldn't cut free of their regrets from the outside world, and so more people had to die. Extreme. You guys are still young! You need to place more value on your lives! I still think that happened in space. What are you gonna do? Jeez, you never thought you guys were gonna pass the torch of hope to the next generation. You want some damn babies in here? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Little babies! Let me out of here. What do I care about hope? I'll throw it in the trash if you just let me out of here. Too bad. You're only embodiment of hope, whether you like it or not. And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one. Okay, now. It's sad, yes it is, but that reality just can't be avoided. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you going to make us keep going through this? What do you want from us? Yes! Tell us, Monokuma, what do you want from us? Does it begin with a D? End of an R? God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. Hmm. So anyway. Kiriko, did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? Ooh. Hey, hey! So, uh, what's the deal with that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Play it Drink off. my beer to that. He's gonna say none of your beer. She's gonna say none of your business. Let's predict what she said before she said it. None fuck. of your business. It's gonna be a very nice way of saying fuck off, Monokuma. Yeah. Wah, wah. Or nothing at all. <laughs> huh? What's the matter? So then. I'll answer your question if you answer mine. Oh, oh even better. Played it off. No. You. What did you do? What did you do to me? Uh huh? What? Ooh. What? Ooh. What, do you mean, what did you do to me? What, what are you saying? What? What I? What did I do to you? <laughs> answer me. What did you do to my body? What? Don't tell me you're a fucking robot! What? Wow, oh man! Oh jeez! Oh man, oh jeez! What do you mean? What did I do? Oh, I'm sweating buckets here! Oh, I, I have no idea! I don't know anything about it! What the fuck is she going on about? What is she going on about? Oh. What is this? As soon as we get more answers, we get more questions. Oh, Master Danga romp away. Um, what was that just now? The mastermind did something to Kyoko's body? What does that mean? Yeah. Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. It's about time I go out of here. Do you think she just said that to get rid of him? But to say something as specific as my body. Yeah, but maybe. What did you do to yeah. my body? Yeah. That's well. most. Definitely a plot point. Meanwhile, you guys can go on and join your school life. Tell us what it means! If you get lonely, give me a shout. I'll do anything about it, of course. See ya later! <laughs> See ya! Monokuma disappeared. You know, so depressed and in despair. Although it wasn't all despair. We have the key. There was one small hope. Hey, Kyoko. Monokuma already mentioned it, but... What's that key that Sades gave you? So... Most likely. It's the key to one of the dressing room lockers. Huh? What? I mean, that means... <laughs> Sades probably hid it in there. Hey. I suppose sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well then, we better go check. I mean, I can't believe all it where it was hidden was in a locker. In did a they not even single look in, locker. Did they not even like think about like opening the locker? I guess they're so caught up in like, oh my god, someone stole the laptop. Yeah, and they wouldn't they, have thought it'd be yeah, a different like place. locker. Yeah. Indeed. Good idea. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As we approached the dressing room, Coco looked back at us and said, "Hey." I'm gonna go on alone from here. 
Everyone else, head to the dining hall. I'll check in with you later. Why can't we come in there with you? Yeah. What? Why exactly are you going alone? Thank you! Oh, I never thought I'd agree with the oh, For feel once. Bit, I feel, I feel a bit sick there. <laughs> Rejoice, commoner. Oh. So... Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she quickly glanced at quickly at oh, oh, but right. they're all going at the yeah. same time. Come on. That's not what I mean. Why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. Oh, Biaki uh, suspects it's Kyoko, doesn't he? Yeah. Forgot about that. I mean, I'll go to. What? You? Please, let me go. <laughs> oh, don't pick him! Ugh. You have to stand up for yourself. You can't beg. You have to be like, I'm going. You don't say, please let me go. Please, Byakuya Togami, my one true saviour. Stand here arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. Goodbye. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Thanks, Byakuya! Come on, Makoto. We are pleased and thank yous. Well, it's up to you now. Yo. I'm gonna go to the dining hall, okay? Huh? So Makoto and Kyoko are gonna go together? Ooh. No! No! Aoi, don't, so don't, 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 Aoi, don't worry. I'll be back for you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, does that mean what I think it means? Okay. Good luck, Makoto. Girls like her total pushovers when you show a little backbone. Ah, oh, she's, ah, oh, she ships you, man. Sorry. No! You're totally in the friend zone. Aoi, no! Well, I've had my time being creepy with Celeste, I mean Taiko, so now you can be creepy with Hina. Now that my wife's dead, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sorry. I try to forget what Hina said. In my head to a dying hall, you and me and Kyoko are very alone. Realising that I've just been shipped into the friend zone. Yep. Shall we go? Well, shall we? You're so cold, why well, would I want to be with you? Yeah. So then. We need to get into that locker. Kyoko took the key to Celeste, kicked him in there, and unlocked the locker. As we look at swung open, we saw. Hey! Hey! Good morning! Hey, <laughs> it's back! It's back! Hey, hey, hey! It's been a while, hasn't it? It has. <laughs> it's safe, thank goodness. Never heard Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. <laughs> I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. Bloody stupid computer. <laughs> Hey, don't diss with MLG Chihiro. No. She will fuck you up. I mean, he will fuck you up. Damn it, I'm still getting used to that. Oh, and... I think I might be able to open a last set of files soon. Maybe as early oh. as tomorrow. Ooh. Because I'm so MLG pro, I'm doing my best. So please wait just a little while longer. <laughs> so, now we can officially say the case is closed. As far as this incident is concerned, sure, but... Let me take a second, since we have this opportunity, you need to be honest with me. Yes! Finally! What is your Tans. speciality? Ah! You better <laughs> say something after. They make us drink from nothing, Kyokes. Kyoko, please tell me, what are you trying to do all on your own here at school? You. Is that why you're wanting to come here with me? However. Regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. Mm. <sighs> I don't need to know. This makes me even more worried. What? Worried? <gasps> Why am I suddenly worried about you? No! I like what happened during the investigation this time. You disappeared and we didn't see you again. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, fair enough. That's yeah, fine. what were you doing? Without warning, without explanation. When you do that... Indeed. It's only natural that they think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too? No. Oh. No! I I believe in you. What? You believe in me? Isn't it obvious? People believe in their friends, right? That's why I want you to tell you. Oh, wait, that's why you. I, I want you to tell me what your talent is! <laughs> I want you to believe in me too. Because we're friends. <laughs> I ain't your friend, buddy. I understand. It's true. Then, maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. Oh, what, like, that's like 5% more. How probably. much more belief do you need, man? Then, 
That's fine. Fine. I'll tell you. Yes! Yes! I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. I don't want to know that. I want to know what your talent is. Oh, it's good enough. It's something. It's progress. <laughs> you see? What I heard from Kyoko then was, well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. Oh my god, what? This better be good. Right after I told Kyoko I believe in her, she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. Oh my god, here we go. I decided I had to confirm what she told me in my own two eyes, so I waited for night time to come. And when it did, I went into action. Oh! What? What's going on, man? Some late night hijinks. Oh shit. Alright, we've got 15 more minutes, let's go. Correct. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. It doesn't? Oh! And the storage closet there. But way in the back. <gasps> Is there a way out? She said it was way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet, but... Could Kyoko really be right about this? Which one's the boys? <laughs> I don't want the boys in one. <laughs> that was the dumbest question. <laughs> it's the beer, man. It's the beer. It's getting to me. All right, here we go. Speaking of beer, you got it wrong. You know what that means, right? Before we get the big reveal, should I have a little, uh, oh, for a little drinking sake. session with Ben here? Here we go. Because Ben got it wrong. Yeah, he's got a drink. Ah, uh, here we go. Down, down it goes. When it will stop, only Ben knows. This is punishment. For your lack of judgment. <laughs> oh no! Oh. I do apologise once again for headphone users. <laughs> but, but okay, basically, <laughs> when, whenever Ben drinks, Jesus Christ, man, whenever Ben oh. drinks, take Sorry. out Jesus. <laughs> the foot of him. Take take out your headphones. <laughs> when he drinks, because you know what's coming. <laughs> Dirty son. <laughs> I can't help it. You made me drink the whole thing. People are watching this, man. Right, well, we Live. <laughs> Alright, it's right in the back. It's just a normal storage closet, as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about. Could it really be hidden here? What? Oh, let's get looking. She said it was way in the back of the storage closet. But I mean, seriously? <laughs> but I heard that. <laughs> Is leaking out of your mouth at this point. <laughs> oh, Without yeah. thinking, I place my hand on the back of the storage closet. Very bubbly beer. Suddenly, <laughs> as if I were being yanked in. <gasps> oh shit! Gashunk! At the same time as I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. What? I had no idea what's going on. Ba boom! Where are we? Where the fuck are you? I've fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? Turned out the back wall was like a revolving door. And I made my way to the other side. Just like Kyoko had said. Correct. The boys' bathroom, second floor, storage closet. Go back, you'll find it. There's the secret room. So this is the secret room. Why was she hiding there? But what's in here? Why would you hide? Is that a box of tissues? Ugh. Ugh. Someone was having a bit of a session here, weren't they? Oh, Bloody hell. <laughs> can, what should we look at? I mean, there? it is a secret storage room. Oh, man, they must get bored out. and lonely while doing secret shit in here. It's just a normal desk with normal drawers. Okay, Don't touch those tissues, Makai. Don't do it. Makai, you're going to have to touch ah. it. Oh, it's the files. Thank oh, God. Okay. There's a bunch of files and what looks like a volume after a volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Oh, my God. Looking at everything, one file on the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Host Peak Academy Student Registry? Ooh. Ooh. This is the only thing in here not covered in dust. Has someone been looking at it recently? I slipped the file into my hand. Before I had a chance to take a look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file, and I turned my attention to it. What? What? What's this? You must not leave. They're in space! They're in space! Oh They're God. in space! They're in space! If you leave, you'll die. You must not leave. That's kind of weird. I can understand if it was said if it said like I can't leave, but you must not leave. Nope. Oh uh, no. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, there's a little bit left. <laughs> Ben's got a little bit left to drink oh, for that ellipsis. counts, that counts, that counts. What is this? My head feels funny. This strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before. But... I can't quite remember. So were they, they were drugged, weren't they? They were drugged in the beginning, yeah, they were, yeah. What do I know? What don't I know? I... I... Oh! Ah! oh, what the fuck? It's... What, what the fuck was that? A strange sound rang out through my head. I felt like it was shaking my brain back and forth. Oh my god. Some like random wrestler in a lab coat just tried to kill you. Darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes and saw the gates of heaven <laughs> being greeted by a lovely naked woman. Oh. <laughs> Just Kenny's death all over again, it's half <laughs> I didn't know how long it had been. No! Yeah. Oh, oh he it's was all right. gone! He was right on top of the arm! Oh, fern. damn you, Dangarompa, and your stingers. Ow, apparently something hit me. I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull throbbing pain in my head proved that much at least. Ugh. An empty bookshelf. Huh? Empty? It's gone! Shit's gone, man! The yearbooks, the student registry, and... I didn't even know that fall on the floor. All the answers are gone! It's all gone! It's right it's there for the taking! Man. What does this mean? My brain refused to do any more work. The insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. I wonder if that was Randy Orton that got you. I mean, it was out of nowhere. Hmm? <laughs> uh, that was a bad joke, don't laugh at that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> for, <laughs> for now, I should go back to my room. That was terrible, get some rest. <laughs> I shouldn't have laughed at get that. Get some rest. <sighs> I couldn't resist, I'm sorry. My body was heavy with pain, my mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back toward my room. Somehow, I made it back to the first floor of the school. The farther I walked, the more I felt. Things are getting blurry. I can't see in front of me. You've been drugged. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that, plonk. That's not. Is that an ellipsis? It's in commas, so... It doesn't count. Oh, okay, you're exempt. You're very drunk, you'll be, and we've almost finished, yeah. so... Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no, we were not! <laughs> As if from a vast dis distance, I heard a sound. <laughs> damn it, dang it, Rompa! Uh, damn it, damn it, girl, we agreed that this doesn't count! I know we're breaking regulations here, but we've got no more drinks, okay? And Ben's gotta go. <laughs> yeah. It was faint. And oh, no, oh, dang it, Rompa! That sound... It's coming from the guy. As I desperately hauled my shaky frame toward the guy, the sound got stronger and stronger. Crack! Gugla! Gagunk! Bagya! Is that my sound effects? Oh, I'm sure they were lovely. What's going on? Bago! It can't be nothing. Here in the gym? Oh man. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. Good idea. The sound's coming from inside, meanwhile. I only intensified that much more. Kacha, Baku! Hagagya! Haya! Paching! Vakya! Da da dun! Sha 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 sha! Very good, John. What? Whoa! The fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Uh. Fimo Akuma, what are you doing? They're ready to battle beyond any humanly possible. A teddy bear going at it with a bodybuilder. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, one sign's not human, that's for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. The sucker had taken matters into her own hands. Oh my god. I forgot to move or even breathe. Why, you? What do you think you're doing? Oh. Joe. You gonna have to? Oh damn it, Ben! Ben's run out of his drink, but I still got mine, so yeah. I'll drink. 
Do it for we us. weren't expecting more dot dot dots in this playthrough. <laughs> Damn it. I asked you a question. Oh. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal! It's all gone! It's all gone! Why? It was Sakura? Sakura? Oh no! I like Sakura! You? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. Ooh, she's turning. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. She's gonna go raging demon on your ass, Monokuma. Okay. Huh? But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? Gun! What's it called? Gun, 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 gunnya. Gun, yeah. The you spears. What I'm holding hostage? What? Why are you holding hostage? <sighs> what? Oh! Double drink! Oh, oh no, it's triple drink. This isn't fair, man. Why have I got a drink? Ah, uh, because there's no point in opening up a new bit. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Joe, take the team. These rules are bullshit. I'm still drinking. <laughs> oh, you're the one who lost, not me. <laughs> I mean, I lost too. I lost my wife, damn it. How much more are you going to make me suffer? What could it be? The Masked Man Spy is. It's Sakura. The next generation. Legend. Stand tall. Galactic hero. And that is where we're ending the part. Oh, man. We've got seven people left. That We've lost less than half the group. Wow. To be continued. Oh I shit! I never thought it'd be Sakura. Yay, we got the Super Robo Justice Prison. Woohoo! Oh, we just did it. Oh, dude. Well, that was it. That was Troll Free. Ben, we are a little bit more than halfway through the game. Hey! So. I'm enjoying this, though, and that was a good choice. I never saw that coming. Sakura? What? No I think, way! I think this chapter's been the best one so far. Yeah, in terms of mystery, yeah. and who it is, the execution. In terms of payoff as well. And that, yeah, and that cliffhanger as well was pretty good. Oh, the great payoff. Oh, man, female Akuma's the, the fucking spy. And someone's holding something hostage. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, this is getting really but good. But we still have no answers to who the 16th student is. No. Was the 16th student the one who bonked us on the head, though? It might have been. It might, yeah. it might be Randy Orton, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Randy Orton's 16th student, confirmed! <laughs> Alright, guys. We're gonna leave it there. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly stumble my way back to my house. Here it comes! <laughs> oh my god! Out of nowhere! RKO! <laughs> Boom! Sorry. <sighs> I do like my wrestling references. Alright, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you all in the next recording session. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, my poor wife, man. Oh, my dark queen. My eloquent mistress. I'm just going to let Joe ramble on for a bit. Gone to the wind. Forever. Alright, guys. Rest in peace. Mwah.